Good evening, everyone, and welcome to St Giles' entry for this uh, service where we will sing the Etzel Fest, the Easter Hill of Praise, and we'll have a short series of Bible readings and prayers as we await the uh, big celebrations of Jesus' resurrection tomorrow. So you're very welcome wherever you join us from. Church Easter candle. I feel very warm here now. I feel it even feels warm here.
And so as we welcome the light of Christ back into our churches after his absence, we recall the saving acts of God throughout our scriptures and into our present day. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. God saw that the light was good, and he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, the first day. And God said, Let there be an expanse between the waters, to separate water from water. So God made the expanse and separated the water under the expanse from the water above it. And it was so. God called the expanse sky, and there was evening, and there was morning, the second day. And God said, Let the water under the sky be gathered together in one place, and let dry ground appear. And it was so. God called the dry ground land, and the gathered waters he called seas, and God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the land produce vegetation, seed bearing plants and trees on the land that bear fruit with seed in it, according to their various kinds, and it was so. The land produced vegetation, plants bearing seed according to their kinds, and trees bearing fruit with seeds in it according to their kinds. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the third day. And God said, Let there be light in the expanse of sky to separate the day from the night, and let them serve as signs to make seasons and days and years, and let them be light in the expanse of sky to give light on the earth. And it was so. God made two great lights, the greater light to govern the day, and the lesser light to govern the night. He also made the stars. And God set them in the expanse of the sky to give light on the earth, to govern the day and the night, and to separate light from darkness. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the fourth day. Then God said, Let the water teem with living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the expanse of the sky. And so God created the great creatures of the sea and every living and moving thing with which the water teems according to their kinds, and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. God blessed them and said, Be fruitful and increase in number, and fill the water in the seas, and let the birds increase on the earth. And there was evening, and there was morning, the fifth day. And God said, Let the land produce living creatures according to their kinds, livestock, creatures that move along the ground, and wild animals, each according to their kinds. And it was so. God made the wild animals according to their kinds, the livestock according to their kinds, and all the creatures that move along the ground according to their kinds. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make people in our image, in our likeness, and let them rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air, over the livestock, over all the earth, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. So God created people in his own image. In the image of God he created them, male and female he created them. God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number, fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air and over every living creature that moves on the ground. And God said, I give you every seed-bearing plant on the face of the whole earth, and every tree that has fruit with seeds in it, they will be yours for food. And to all the beasts of the earth, and the birds of the air, and all the creatures that move on the ground, everything that has the breath of life in it, I give every green plant for food. And it was so. And God saw all that he had made, and it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth were completed in all their vast array. And by the seventh day God had finished the work that he had been doing. 
for on the seventh day he rested from all his work. And God blessed the seventh day and made it holy, because on it he rested from all the work of creating that he had done. Almighty God, you have created the heavens and the earth and made us in your image. Teach us to discern your hand in all your works and your likeness in all your children. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. When the king of Egypt was told that the people had fled, Pharaoh and his officials changed their minds about them and said, What have we done? We've let the Israelites go and have lost their services. So he had his chariot made ready and took his army with him. He took 600 of the best chariots of Egypt with officers over all of them. And the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, so that he pursued the Israelites who were marching out boldly. The Egyptians, all Pharaoh's horses and chariots, horsemen and troops, pursued the Israelites and overtook them as they camped by the sea near Phi Hahiroth, opposite Baal Zephon. And then the angel of God, who had been travelling in front of Israel's army, withdrew and went behind them. The pillar of cloud also moved from in front and stood behind them, coming between the armies of Egypt and Israel. Throughout the night the cloud brought darkness to one side and light to the other, so neither went near, near the other all night long. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and all that night the Lord drove back the sea with a strong east wind and turned it into dry land, and the waters were divided, and the Israelites went through the sea on dry ground with a wall of water on their right and on their left. The Egyptians pursued them, and all Pharaoh's horses and chariots and horsemen followed them into the sea. During the last watch of the night, the Lord looked down from the pillar of fire and cloud over the Egyptian army and threw it into confusion. And the water flowed back and covered the chariots and the horsemen, the entire army of Pharaoh that had followed the Israelites into the sea. Not one of them survived. But the Israelites went through the sea on dry ground with a wall of water on their right and on their left. That day the Lord saved Israel from the hands of the Egyptians, and Israel saw the Egyptians lying dead on the shore. O Lord our Redeemer, who heard the cry of your people and sent your servant Moses to lead them out of slavery. Free us from the tyranny of sin and death, and by the leading of your Spirit, bring us to the promised land. Amen. Amen. A reading from Jeremiah 31. The days are coming, declares the Lord when I will make a new covenant with the people of Israel and with the people of Judah. It will not be like the covenant I made with their ancestors, where I took them by the hand to lead them out of Egypt, because they broke my covenant, though I was a husband to them, declares the Lord. This is the covenant that I will make with the people of Israel, after that time, declares the Lord. I will put my law in their minds and write it on their hearts. I will be their God and they will be my people. No longer will they teach their neighbour or say to one another, know the Lord, because they will all know me. From the least of them to the greatest, declares the Lord. For I will forgive their wickedness, and will remember their sins no more. Almighty God, in Christ you make all things new. 
transform the poverty of our nature by the riches of your grace and in the renewal of our lives make known your glory. Amen. A reading from Ezekiel. The hand of the Lord was upon me, and he brought me out by the Spirit of the Lord and set me in the middle of a valley full of bones. And he led me to and fro among them, and I saw a great many bones on the floor of the valley, bones that were very dry. He asked me, Son of man, can these bones live? I said, O so, sovereign Lord, you alone know. Then he said to me, Prophesy to these bones, and say to them, Dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the Lord, Sovereign Lord says to these bones. I will make breath enter you, and you will come to life. I will attach tendons to you and make flesh come upon you, and cover you with skin. And I will put breath in you, and you will come to life. Then you will know that I am the Lord. And so I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I was prophesying, prophesying, there was a noise, a rattling sound, and the bones came together, bone to bone. I looked, and tendons and flesh appeared on them, and skin covered them, but there was, there was no breath in them. And the Lord said to me, Prophesy, prophesy to the breath, prophesy, son of man, and say to it, This is what the sovereign Lord says, Come from the four winds, O breath and breathe into these slain that they may live. And so I prophesied as he commanded me, and breath entered them. They came to life and stood up on their feet, a vast army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They say our bones are dried up, and our hope is gone, we are cut off. Therefore prophesy and say to them, This is what the Sovereign Lord says, O my people, I am going to open your graves and bring you up from them. I will bring you back to the land of Israel. Then you, my people, will know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and bring you up from them. I will put my spirit in you, and you will live, and I will settle you in your own land. Then you will know that I, the Lord, have spoken, and I have done it, declares the Lord. Lord God of salvation, you speak the word to your scattered people and bring up our life from the valley of death. Breathe your spirit upon your church, that we may live and stand before you. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from Ezekiel. Therefore, say to the Israelites, this is what the Sovereign Lord says. It is not for your sake, people of Israel, that I am going to do these things, but for the sake of my holy name, which you have profaned among the nations where you have gone. I will show the holiness of my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, the name you have profaned among them. Then the nations will know that I am the Lord, declares the Sovereign Lord. When I am proved holy through your eyes before them. For I will take you out of the nations, I will gather you from all the countries and bring you back into your own land. I will sprinkle clean water on you and you will be clean. I will cleanse you from all your impurities and from all your idols. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I will remove from you your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit in you and move you to follow my decrees and be careful to keep my laws. Then you will live in the land I gave your ancestors. You will be my people and I will be your God. Blessed are you, Lord, when we are overwhelmed by the wasting world around us. Gather us again and renew us. Amen.
St. John Chrysostom, who died in 407, was known as Golden Tongue, and he wrote a homily for Easter. It is most often read at the first service of Easter in the Eastern Orthodox and the Byzantine Catholic churches. And it reads, Is anyone devout and loves God? Then let them enjoy this fair and shining festival. Is anyone a grateful servant? Then let them enter the joy of their Lord. Have any wearied themselves with fasting? Let them now enjoy their payment. Has anyone laboured since the first hour? Let them today receive their due. Did any come after the third hour? Let them feast with gratitude. Did any arrive after the sixth hour? Let them not hesitate, for there is no penalty. Did any delay after the ninth hour? Let them approach without hesitating. Did any arrive only for the eleventh hour? Let them not fear because of their lateness, for our Lord is generous and receives the last as the first. He gives rest to the worker of the eleventh hour as to those of the first. He has pity on the latter, he cares for the former. He gives to the one, he is generous to the other. He accepts the work done and welcomes the intention. He honours the achievement, he praises the purpose. Therefore all of you enter into the joy of our Lord, first and last enjoy your reward, Rich and poor dance together, sober and slothful honour the day, fasters and non-fasters be glad, the table is full. All of you enjoy yourselves. The calf is fatted, let none go away hungry, all of you enjoy the banquet of the faith, all of you enjoy the richness of his goodness. Let no one grieve at their poverty, for the kingdom of all has been revealed, let no one bewail their faults, for forgiveness has risen from the tomb. Let no one fear death, for the Saviour's death has freed us. By enduring it, he quenched it. He who descended into hell has despoiled hell. He admitted it when it tasted his flesh, as Isaiah proclaimed in prophecy. Death, he said, was embittered when it met you there below. Embittered, for it was destroyed. Embittered, for it was mocked embittered for it was slain embittered for it was wiped out embittered for it was bound fast it received a body and came face to face with god it received earth and met heaven it received what it saw and fell through what it did not see where death is your sting where hell is your victory christ is risen and you are abolished christ is risen and the demons have fallen Christ is risen, and angels rejoice. Christ is risen, and life has found freedom. Christ is risen, and there is no corpse in the grave. For Christ, being raised from the dead, has become the first fruits of those who sleep, and to him be glory and might unto the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him forever. Blessing and honour and glory and power be to him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb forever and ever. Amen. Great and marvellous are your works, Lord God the Almighty. Just and true are your ways, King of saints. All glorious your gift, Spirit of life. Blessing and honour and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honour and power and might be to our God for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. O give thanks to the Lord, for he is gracious, and his mercy endures forever. He has loved us from all eternity, and his mercy endures forever and remembered us when we were in trouble, and, and his, his mercy, mercy endures forever. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, for his mercy endures forever. 
He became incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and was made man. For his His mercy mercy endures forever. By his cross and passion he has redeemed the world. For his His mercy mercy endures forever. And has washed us from our sins in his own blood. And his his mercy mercy endures forever. On the third day he rose again. And his his mercy mercy endures forever. And has given us the victory. And And his his mercy mercy endures forever. And ascended into heaven. And his his mercy endures forever. And opened wide for us the everlasting doors. And And his his mercy mercy endures forever. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. And And his his mercy mercy endures forever. And ever lives to make intercession for us. And and his mercy endures forever. Let us give thanks to Christ for all that he has done for us. For the gifts of his Spirit, blessed be Christ. For the Catholic Church, blessed Blessed be Christ. For the means of grace, blessed Blessed be Christ. For the hope of glory, blessed Blessed be Christ. For the triumphs of his gospel, blessed Blessed be Christ. For the lives of his saints, blessed Blessed be Christ. In joy and in sorrow, blessed Blessed be Christ. In life and in death, blessed Blessed be Christ. Now and to the end of ages, blessed be Christ. So our final prayer this evening. Thank you for joining us wherever you are. Blessing and honour and thanksgiving and praise more than we can utter, more than we can conceive, be to you, O most adorable Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, by all angels, all peoples, all creation, for ever and ever. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia.